Hi and welcome to this new series. In this series, we are going to create a blog application by utilizing Django that we have learned in the previous series. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Well, hi, I'm Shubham and subscribe to become a better software developer. So this is part one video where we are going to look at how our project will look and what all features will be present in the project. And then after that, we are going to create the project and set it up. And before starting, make sure you watch my Django series. And now let's jump into the project. So I will go to the browser. And if we go over here, you can see this is how our landing page will look like. Where we have this beautiful looking site with the card and some description and title and posted by the username and date available. And if I click on this, it will take me to the next page and since I am the owner of this particular blog so I have these options available and the categories are present then all, everything related to the blog is present and then comment is present with a delete button where you can delete it and finally at the end we have a add comment section also and if I go back we have Pagination also implemented. Yes, we will cover pagination in this series. Don't worry. And if I click on next, it takes me to the page too. I know. Okay. You can check this number that is coding nine, coding eight. I have used for loop and created all of this. So that's why you can figure out. Now let's go to drafts. Over here, you can see all the posts. Those are in draft. And over here also pagination is implemented. Finally, in archive, archive also has pagination implemented and you will you can have projects in that or uh, basically blogs. Then log out and a message with uh, my username. Correct. And finally, we have a new blog option, new post option where we have title, content, category and then choose image and tag present. And once we click on save, it will take us to the next page or blog detail. Some of the features are still in development, so I'm still working on it. So don't worry, we'll cover many more features throughout this series. And finally, in the admin side, as you can see, I have utilized the admin panel also. And if I click on post, like we have these things available. And if we select one of them, we have comments and everything sorted. Like just we uh, just how we use in our J uh, Django admin. So everything is present. And we are using users model over here. So now let's go ahead and set up our project. So what I'll do is I have already opened a folder. You can go ahead and create your own folder and open it in the VS code. First thing we'll do is we'll create virtual environment because we don't really want to install each and every package on our system. Because if we do so, it might break some other project. So because of that, we create a virtual environment and that is like small section or small coding space where you install all the packages. And then finally, you run the project in that particular instance itself. So I already have virtual environment installed on my system. You can check install virtual env. You can check this out or even this one and install your virtual environment. So I will do is virtual env and I'll call it as dot env. Our virtual environment is created as you can see on the left hand side. Now what I'll do is I'll activate it. In order to activate, I have this particular command source dot whatever virtual environment name is there, then bin and activate. Now let me clear it. On my system, it is indicating over here on the right hand side that this environment is active. For you all, you all might have on the left hand side. This is some fancy terminal that I'm using because of which it is showing over here. Now, we'll do is pip install Django because that is what we want to run. Give it some time. It will take some time to install and it is done. Let me clear it. First we'll do is we'll create our project, right? So for that Django-admin start project. And whenever we create project, right? I like naming it to be SRC. 
so that's why i have done it now if we expand as you can see we have our src project created we'll navigate inside src and we'll create our first app and we'll call it as blog so it is django dash admin start app and i'll call it as blog so it has created this blog app now in order for the project to know about this blog app we have to install it so let me do one thing let me delete this we'll use it later on and we'll we'll install the newly created blog in this installed apps so type blog over here now along with this let's also do some few more configuration that is like creating the template directory so i like creating it over here template dir it takes in base directory slash templates so our templates directory is ready let's install it we'll scroll down and in templates under dirs we'll paste it finally we'll also scroll down again and we'll give few settings over here so we'll say static root and this will be base directory slash we'll say collected static you can name anything i want to do this because i have already done it and like have made some changes uh, so that is why i'm using this and along with this we'll also do few changes for media query uh, media related items so we'll say media underscore url and i'll give it as media and also we'll give media underscore root so this will be also media i might have done spelling mistake yes this means that media url that means whenever we are using media files this will be the url used and the root directory will be this same thing for this also url will be static url and root means this will be the root directory for it and finally two more things let's do it we'll say login underscore redirect url I'll keep it to this, copy paste it and we'll do for logout also. So now you all might have question where did this come from or how do I know about it. So what I'll do is I'll google this out, copy this entire thing. Actually let's google it over here itself and we'll go to Django documentation. If I click on this, as you can see this is setting related folder itself or setting related page itself and over here all the set, uh, setting variables which are available to us are present so we can check that out and if i search for this somewhere down there it will be present by default it is none but we can definitely specify it even like password reset timeout then password hashes it is already present over here so all these things can be specified in our project now our project configuration is done let's run the project and see how it works whether it works or not as soon as i have brought up this terminal as you can see on the right hand side my env is activate so whenever i run the project or use any particular django admin command make sure your environment is active for me it gets automatically activated most of the time so now i'll say python manage dot py Oh, actually I need to navigate inside this SRC project or SRC folder. We will say python manage.py uh, run server. What I did is I typed only ma and then pressed tab and it, it auto, uh, auto completed. So that's why this came quickly. And if I click on enter, oh, I have, uh, let me stop the project that I am using over here. So let me stop it. Now let me run the project, run the project, let's go over here and as you can see Django is installed and please note we are using Django 5.1. So in this video we have successfully seen how the project will look like and also we have installed the project and did all the configuration related to it, created our first app also and installed it. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.